It's hard to pick one, but this might be the most misrepresented area of all when it comes to whales and human care. The idea that most wild killer whales live to the age of 50 to 80 while they drop dead at the age of 10 to 20 in captivity, neither is true. First, you have to understand that killer whales were not studied at all in the earlier half of the 20th century. Research on pods and individuals did not start until the 1970s, after they started being captured for marine parks. The southern and northern residents, in the northeastern Pacific, are some of the most well-studied animals on the planet. But the ages of any animals born before the 1970s simply cannot be known for certain. And as for the captive whales, we've only kept them for 50 years, so we can't really know their maximum lifespan yet, but we can make some attempts at a comparison. There is no solid proof for any whale born before the 1950s as females are fully grown at the age of 15 and males around 18. This includes the case of Granny, or J2, from the Southern Residence, who is often branded as proof that SeaWorld's whale die young by uneducated keyboard activists. Granny was the first discovered in 1976. She was often near an adult male, Ruffles, who was assumed to be her son. He was assumed to be 25 years old and assumed to be her last calf, so she would have to be around 40 when he was born. Thus, she was guesstimated to be 65 years old at the time. But there is absolutely no evidence for any of this. Some females only have one or two calves in all their lives. If Ruffles were her son, he could have been just 16 and she could have been 10 when he was born, putting her in her 60s when she died in late 2016. But DNA tests actually showed that he was not her son at all. So she might only have been 10 or 12 at the time she was discovered and would thus be around the same age as Corky and Lolita. She might have been much older, but there's no evidence for it whatsoever. The only way to know a whale's age for certain is to get a tooth sample or to see them as newborns. The ages touted in blackfish of 100 or even more for females and perhaps 50 to 60 for males are thus extremely exaggerated, roughly equivalent to saying human women live to 120 or even more and men perhaps 110. Not necessarily false, but an absolute maximum, nowhere near the average. And even more common averages saying females live 50 to 60 years and males around 30 are calculated from animals that already survived to maturity. It does not at all include animals that die very young. When you include those, it paints a very different picture. We only include wild whales born after 1955, and there are very important reasons for this. First, killer whales started being captured as juveniles in 1967, so it's only a fair way to compare with captive whales. Second, while many of the whales first studied must have been born in the 1940s and 30s, other animals born in those days died young and were of course never recorded, and thus those older whales cannot be fairly included in an average. The only way to make a fair average is to use whales we knew since they were calves and juveniles and followed until death. is the reality of life expectancy in the wild. 
even if a few rare whales live to the age of 70 or 80. That is extremely rare, about as rare as a human reaching 120, and the vast majority die young. There is also an important reason only numbers from the 1990s and onwards are used, or in the case of breeding from the first successful birth in 1985, because you simply cannot talk about the practices today and use numbers from the 1960s and 70s, when the practices were quite frankly deplorable. Not enough was known about killer whales or their care, and they were kept in very insufficient facilities, so it should be no surprise that those animals often died young. If you need more comparisons, we can look at the pods of Corky and Lolita. Corky was captured from a pod in the Northern Resident Community in 1969. Let that sink in. The oldest living member from a pod is Corky. When it comes to killer whale lifespan, it really is too soon to speak with certainty in this, both with zoological and wild whales. We haven't kept them long enough to know how many can live to the age of 50 and beyond. We haven't studied them long enough in the wild, only a little over 40 years, to know with certainty how long they live there as well. The only thing we can do is attempts at comparisons like these, and they show that wild whales do not live longer than captive ones. In fact, captive whales sometimes outperform the wild whales.